Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. Were you surprised that this was the fight Nate Diaz opted for for his boxing debut? And, and how do you think that one plays out? Well, I guess I probably give Nate a better chance than a lot of people do, but I am a Jake Paul supporter, and uh, I think it's a dangerous fight for Nate. I think it's reflected in the betting line. Uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited for Nate to get this payday. I think it stands to reason this is a bit bigger payday and a bigger fight than most of the boxing fights that might have been there for Nathan. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it. I mean, they're certainly going to get my money. I just hope it happens, right? August 5th is a couple months away. I know Platinum Mike Perry is trying to position himself as the backup. Nate's going to be there. And uh, I do think even though there's maybe a size discrepancy and a strength discrepancy, uh, I think Nate Diaz could surprise people. I'm contractually prevented from betting on it, but I think Nate Diaz is a live underdog come August 5th. Mm -hmm. Big year for Conor McGregor. He just had his documentary drop on Netflix. I think he'll have a movie coming out with Jake Gyllenhaal, I think towards the end of this year. He's about to be on our screens on a weekly basis over the next couple of months with the return of The Ultimate Fighter. And hopefully he'll be fighting Michael Chandler. You were at his last fight and that also coincided with what well, I think. I know Bruce Buffer has some of the best suits in the game, but for McGregor Poirier 3, um, man, that suit that you busted out of that pink suit huh. where you had the, the lining with you dc and rogan just going crazy absolute mint of a suit um just your thoughts about conor mcgregor coming back this year can he still come back can he still do the damn thing and you know how excited are you for the opportunity to call his return fight later on this year yes to all of the above and uh i a distant last is me calling the fight i just want to see conor mcgregor back you know i have said in so many interviews over the past several years that the only place for Connor to sort of scratch the competitive itch that he's trying to scratch is the octagon. It's not in bare knuckle boxing with respect. It's nowhere else. It's not in a boxing ring. And I would softly remind everyone that had he not broken his leg, we probably already would have seen him at least once, if not twice more. Like, I really do believe him at his word when he suggests that he wants to be in an active competition cycle in the UFC. But I he had to heal, you know, like the man had to heal. So I am cautious in my optimism, but yes, like I think we get him fourth quarter and dependent upon results. I think you absolutely get him again. First quarter, second quarter, 2024. Uh, I feel like he's chasing further greatness and I know he has more money than he even ever expected that he would have, but how much is he going to enjoy his retirement? If he doesn't get a few more scalps in MMA, I would stand, I would suggest to you not nearly as much as if he can beat a few more of these guys. Heaven forbid chase a world title, you know? So I don't know if if that's on his horizon. But uh, yes, I mean, I think we see him against Michael Chandler in December. And as long as he doesn't break his leg, I think we see him in March 2024 as well. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. And hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, give me some feedback, let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends. Help me blow this whole thing up. And hey, if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more conversations, more interviews, and more amazing video content coming soon.